Hello and welcome once again to RimWorld. Now in the last episode, we sort of found a solution to the fighting. And that is to keep Lippy and Pheasant confined to the medbay at all times. Um, because with them out of the picture, it seems that no one was fighting much. Um, however, they are about to develop immunity. I hope. Yeah. 89%. Pheasant will be pretty much the same. So, we might end up with fighting again. Oh, I really hope not. But if we do, we do. Now, with Pheasant about to come back to work, I would like these to turn back on. But we have got nowhere near the power requirements for it. I'll leave the brain processor off, because 500 watts is... And, you know what? Let's turn off our crafting. What, 350? 700? Jesus. Yeah, okay, we can turn these off. Now, these ones obviously don't require power, so that's fine. But considering these things, I need the materials out of here. I should have turned those off first. So yeah, we'll turn those off, we'll turn these back on, and hopefully we'll have enough power to sustain it. Alright, let's unpause and get this thing rolling. Now, our fabrication research is almost done. And once it's complete... Uh, how are we doing power? Yeah, we have enough power to cover everything. Nice. Uh, but yeah, once the the fabrication research is complete, I was going to start on power. So either solar panels or geothermal or something like that. However, I'm thinking that we go for sterile materials. For the simple reason that I am fed up with food poisoning. It is driving me insane. And worst comes to worst, we just build another wood-fired generator out here. Um, and that will sort of keep us going for a little while. Really, is it? I love the fuses. Absolutely love them. Uh, but yeah, oh, Lippy is up and so is Pheasant. Nice. But yeah, I, I think we need sterile materials just because, as I say, the food poisoning is driving me insane. So, if we have the sterile material, it will allow us to have clean rooms where we pre prepare the food, and hopefully that will stop all the food poisoning. Now, we probably won't get as much food poisoning because we are actually keeping this area clean, which obviously also helps. Um, there we go, Pheasant is doing the last of the research, lovely. It's such a shame that we don't have enough power to turn this on as well. But yeah, our power grid is normally at about 310. So, not gonna happen, unfortunately. Oh, and uh, Ripley's leaving. I really hope you get to the edge of the map before that toxic buildup kills you. Because that will be really annoying. I saved their life. They then just wander out and die on the way because of... Oh. That, that's going to be... They should make it to the edge of the map. It's not exactly far. And you've only got initial build-up at the moment. Though that is... Oh no, it's going down. Oh no, and it just up to nine point. Right. Well, you made it. Excellent. So we ended up going from zero to sixteen with that colony. Or that faction. Well, I'm happy about that. Any way we can avoid fighting with them is a good thing. What are you doing? Oh, you're smoothing the floor, but. You're doing it in a weird position, and you're vomiting everywhere because of food poisoning. 
Yay! <laughs> More things for Eddie to clean up. Oh dear. I do feel sorry for, like, is it Eddie and Nona? Yeah. They're just on puke patrol. <laughs> uh, we have finished fabrication. Awesome. Love it. So yeah, sterile materials, please. This should take a very short amount of time, considering it only needs 600. Now, when that's finished... I'm not sure whether to go for solar panels and batteries, or geothermal. Geothe uh, geothermal will give us a massive boost to our power, but it's a fixed amount and that's it, because obviously... Oh, meteorite. Where and what? Silver. Okay, well, I mean we've got one geo geothermal vent there and one there. Oh, and one there. I mean, these two I could probably build around easily. That one's getting a little bit too far away. Um, we could probably still do it, though. Oh, wow, one over there as well. That is definitely too far away. Although we could just wall it off and make some defences and say, like, you know, have a small pathway to it from the base inside. That might work. Although that then pre presents itself as another way that enemies can get into the base. But yeah, these ones we could definitely get. And that would be a, a boost to our power. But it's once I've used the vents, that's it. There's no more. So would it be beneficial doing that? Or should I just have a solar panel array? I'll make the decision once we finish sterile material. I mean, because we've got the circuit breakers, I don't mind having batteries for once. But I mean, to get to the same power requirements, or the same output as the solar panels give, requires quite a few components. And I, I know that the geothermal requires a lot of components, but you've got to think, you've got to have components for batteries, you've got to have components for the um, solar panels themselves. With only a couple, you, you very quickly get to the same component count as if you just built the geothermal. Now for this, we don't require the multi-analyzer to be on. So let's turn you off, and we'll turn the brain processor off. I think we've got just enough power for that to... Yeah. So we're now jumping between 10 watts and 190 watts. Which is fine. Uh, because the reason that I've done that is because this applies a 10%. This requires a... T uh, this applies a 25% increase. So it's, it's more beneficial to the research. And I don't need that thing on to research uh, the sterile materials. But look at it go. I can't wait to have more of these things. But again, that requires more power, so not going to happen right now. Well, none of you are idle, which is good. That's one thing I was worried about with the toxic fallout. Was if, uh, you know, our colonists suddenly had nothing to do. Although, I suppose with the amount of smooth flooring that we've got, it's going to take them a while to have nothing to do. And we're getting up there on meal count, which is nice. We're going to finish sterile material that quickly. Awesome. Start on batteries because it's probably a good idea to have some stored power. 
Normally, I wouldn't like stored power, but again, because we have these fuses, or the circuit breakers, not as terrible. Wow, John's doing research? You've got that little to do, John? Wow, you're already level 3 in it. <laughs> That's insane. It goes up quickly. Ah, oh, poor Lippy. Awake all on his own. <clears throat> but that's a good thing. It means that he can't get into any trouble. Or at least it means he can't get into much trouble. I wouldn't say any. Oh. God, really? That's slightly terrifying. We're going to have to deal with it. Target. As our greatest gunner. You're going out there, I'm afraid. Uh, wow, they're building in such a... Right. Go this way round. Get over there and start shooting at them, please. Can you actually shoot anyone from there? No. Oh, wow, your range is so bad. They can start shooting me. Right. Come on, move back, move back. Don't get hit. Please, God, don't get hit. Why are you getting that close? Oh, because you've got a shotgun! Target, run. God, please run! Just get out of there! We annoyed them enough! How bad are you hurting? Right arm. Not terribly. Oh dear. I've got to walk through them. Go hide in the corner. That's not going to work, is it? Oh god. Get up there. I just really hope they all miss him completely and just go inside. Oh, thank God for that. Right, you get back inside. Uh, John, Eddie. Oh, we've got no beds. John, come and capture that person. You capture that person. They're the only ones alive, right? Yes. And they did leave us a lot of survival meals. And some artillery, and some components, and all sorts of lovely things. Right. Um, no, no, unrestricted. Go and grab those components, please. And grab those shells. And Lippy, grab some of those survival meals, please. Ooh, 
Ooh, a sniper rifle. I think Target might get that. And we also want to rebuild that wall. See, that's why I double thick that wall, because my turrets took out my own wall. Medical emergency. Right, you two can no longer be recruited, so you actually start doing stuff. You know, like trying to save these people's lives. Uh, Target, you might want to get yourself healed before you... Okay, never mind. You're bleeding all over the place. Uh, right, we finished that, so start solar panels. My god. Target's bleeding all over the place, and yet he's still trying to heal him up. Right, he's now going to bed, and Eddie, tend to him, please. Quickly as you can. Yeah, Nona, once again be restricted to Area 1, Lippy once again be restricted to Area 1. I got some of the stuff. Wait, I told you to get the high explosive rounds. Unrestricted. All the goddamn explosives. Two of our circuit breakers are both offline. Right lung destroyed. Ooh. Hey, don't worry, we've got spares. <laughs> oh. See, it pays to remove random body parts from people. Did you pick up? Yes, you did. Right. In which case, I will now restrict you once again to Area 1. You've only got initial build-up, so that's fine. And these bodies aren't going to rot or anything. Yeah, frozen, won't spoil. Not that we actually want to eat them or anything, but... Same as none of the rifles or anything like that are going to break because they're all undercover. So, what's that? Shera and Sissy. So you've got a destroyed lung, but again, I do have replacement lungs, so if you're very good, we might give you one. Okay, you've got a decent cooking skill. Uh, planting, you're not brilliant, but you're not terrible. You are good at artistic though, and we don't have an we don't have an artist yet. You're also a cannibal, so that will deal with a corp problem. <clears throat> yeah, you know what? I think uh, I think you might just become one of ours. We'll set you to reduce resistance first. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can't do dumb labor. Oh my god, really? We just... It's fine. It's fine. Uh, yeah, so what I was saying is you can't do dumb labor or cleaning, but I'm sure we can find jobs to keep you busy. Now, what about you? You have no real major problems. You're tough. You're a good constructor. Yeah, you're definitely one for us. So you're definitely going to be set to recruit, because I, I really want you. And you, as I say, are reduced resistance of. I might have you. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, two of our laser turrets aren't online at the moment. Oh no. 
and they're trying to dig through my defenses. Well, hopefully a lot of them die and then everyone runs away. Stop. I thought you guys would... There we go, now they're running away. See, a double thick wall, important thing to have. In fact, I may add more walls. A lot more walls. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Um, am I gonna even bother coming out to try and help you? Your right leg was lost to frostbite. I don't have a spare leg, I'm afraid. You're very good at mining and stuff. Go and capture them, Nona. In fact, no, Nona's gone out too many times. John, as you're not busy right now, go and capture them. Well, that's a lot more weapons that we can go and pick up once uh, we're allowed outside again. What the hell is going on, game? Really? You're dropping inside my base? This just isn't fair at this point. You know that, right? Like, what the hell? Right, John, stay right where you are. Um, although, actually, you no, know, move just outside. Everyone else, wake up, move your backsides over here, please. Right, now you've shot it, move inside. And then, of course, the door closes. And Shot. John's taking shots from three of them. Oh god. But he got one down. Nice job. You're not actually doing much, so... Target, go there. Nona, stand right behind me. Seriously, Nona doesn't get hit. The minute I put target there, he gets shot. Okay, John is now taking hits. Oh, liver failure. Oh, God. Liver failure means he will die. I need a liver. Lippy. I know I was going to save you, but I'm sorry. Now I need your liver. Lippy, take his liver. John, get inside and hide for a minute. How long is that liver failure going to last? Oh, not long. Right. Try and get back to base. I know this puts him at a major risk, but he needs to get indoors. And hopefully this will draw that last one to us as well. God, you've got such a range. Right, everyone inside there.
Hopefully that will draw that thing towards us. Right. John, get in a medical bed. How long you got? 23%. Jesus. Right. We have a liver. Install liver. Lippy. Prioritize operation. Go. Breaking all that stuff. Right. Eddie, Pheasant, Nona. Back down there to take that thing out. Oh god, I didn't think it had run towards us. Okay, excellent. Get back inside, you guys. Um, Eddie is now... Okay, a couple of gunshots, nothing major. John, how are you doing? We installed the liver. <laughs> oh. oh, we saved John's life. Um, the person that was down here that was alive is now dead, unfortunately. But, oh my god, we did it! <laughs> I know that's a bit of a, a horrible thing to do, to, to steal his liver. But, I wanted her, and... He was sort of a maybe, but he saved John's life, and we needed to save John's life. Um, right, let's make as much use of you as we can. You're going to die anyway, I'm afraid. So, Lippy, can you please remove their brain as quickly as you can? You guys are coming inside now. So today's episode will just be a lot longer than normal uh, because I want to get this done while I'm thinking about it. The door got broken there, damn. And you've still got... Okay, so one brain removed. Lovely. Ah, don't even act concerned. Oh, I killed them. Cabin fever, yeah. Right. Um, not injured. Oh, already tending to, that's why. Now Lippy is helping everyone because... Uh, ooh, target medical emergency. Oh, the, the blood loss, right. Okay, you're all going to be fine. Amazingly. <laughs> oh my god. I kept us alive. Now that Lancer, I really want to kill, but... Why, why can't I kill it? Okay, no, no. Back outside for you, I'm afraid. Shoot that thing until it's dead. Thank you. Uh, that one is definitely dead. Those two have gotten up. Okay. Both of you, please. Down here. Kill him. 
It looks like they're not actually targeting us, which is odd. But I still want to get rid of these damn things. Right, both of you. Go shoot at that one next. Good. Both back inside now, please. All four of them are dead. Our power conduit's got cut. So our defences are currently offline. So, after... What, three raids? Yeah, was that three raids and a siege? Huh. That is kind of epic. Um, I think this is the time to end the episode, guys. Uh, it looks like Eddie, John, and Target will all be fine. Um, they've got some blood loss and some toxic, toxic build-up. But, I mean, John managing to get that liver in saved his life. Um, whew. So thank you very much for watching guys, if you have enjoyed please like, comment or subscribe and I shall see you next time.